All right, so I just got these mics from DJI and I noticed there was an update to the firmware. I was in the process of updating and I figured I'd take you guys along in case you were wanting to do the same. Let's check the firmware that your mics are currently on. So go ahead and uh, pull the receiver out of the case. You're gonna wanna swipe down and then use the control wheel to scroll over and select settings and scroll over again and select version. And this will tell you what version you're currently on. One other quick tip you can do as well is go ahead and take out the transmitters and you can use this screen to actually see what version of firmware the transmitters are on as well. For now, go ahead and swipe back to the main screen and at this point we can turn the receiver off. So next we're gonna connect the receiver to the computer and I would recommend using the included USB-C cable that DJI gives you. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the receiver is powered off before connecting it to the computer. As you can see right there, the drive pops up, which is the DJI mic. When you open it, don't worry, you don't see anything. I was totally expecting to see some sort of default folder as well, but there's nothing there. Make sure you have the little base plate that goes on the back of it because I've heard a few people having issues with the update if the mobile connectors are on there for whatever reason. Now we're gonna head over to the DJI website to get the firmware we need for the update and I'm gonna go ahead and link it down in the description below. The link will take you directly to the page just like this and you can see you have two downloadable files, the receiver and the transmitter as well as the PDF explaining the process. So go ahead and download the two firmware files to your desktop and take the file that has the RX in the name and we're just gonna drag it directly to the root folder of the receiver. Give it a minute or two to download depending on the specs of your computer and whatnot. So now we can simply just eject this and unplug it. You're gonna see this little updating icon on the screen and we'll say like updating firmware and we'll do this for a few minutes so be patient and wait for the little green icon that says update complete. I stress being patient because I, for one, am not, and I actually thought I bricked my unit. Next up is the transmitters. So we'll start by just grabbing one from the case, and we're going to go ahead and plug it in, and boom, there you go. And now all we need to do is just set up the receiver to drag this firmware file with TX in the name directly to the root folder. It's much faster on the transmitters for whatever reason, but that's pretty much it, and we'll simply eject it. Once it's ejected and starts blinking red and green, it's gonna to continue to do this while the firmware updates until it's complete. All right, so there we go, it's completed. And the transmitter is looking green, just showing that it's looking to get connected. And if we turn on the receiver, it's gone ahead and connected itself. You can go ahead and repeat this step exactly the same way for the next transmitter as well. If you wanna make sure everything's up to date and good and ready to go, go ahead and swipe down, scroll over to the settings, scroll over again to version, and we'll see that the receiver is now on the newest version. If we swipe over, we can see the transmitters are both on the latest version as well. Hopefully this quick little video was helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching.